Today we are going to discover East Asheville. This is going to be a comprehensive map tour you're not going to want to miss. Stick around to the end because I'm going to give you a local secret that nobody knows about except for you. Okay, so here we are. We are looking at Asheville as a whole and what we are talking about today is East Asheville. So we are going to dive right into East Asheville, heading on in, heading on in. You know where the downtown is? It is right going to be in this area right here highlighted so once you go through the tunnel from downtown to what we call east asheville this is really going to be the area that we are talking about today so this isn't going to include everything east of downtown but not south so we're not going south like biltmore forest anything like that we're going to head out on Tunnel Road all the way to about Swannanoa is really going to be where we're going to end because that's a whole other area and then Black Mountain as well. So let's get into it and let's think about why people want to live in East Asheville. What's the appeal to East Asheville? Well, the first thing is there's not many tourists here. It's not a touristy part of Asheville. A lot of people, when they move to Asheville, they think they're going to be overrun with tourist activities. And East Asheville is about the most easy, breezy place to live um, when you're thinking about different sides of living in Asheville. Why? The traffic is just almost non-existent. I mean, you might get lined up every once in a while about five o'clock, something like that. But besides that, it is really easy to get from East Asheville to downtown in anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. So it's kind of one of my favorite places to be um, for one of those reasons. So when we're coming from downtown Asheville out on College Street, you're going to hit this tunnel. And if you want to see what it looks like on a Google satellite version, it's right here. People always like to honk in the tunnel because we're all about 17 here. But anyway, once you go through that tunnel, you will find that you are going to be on Tunnel Road, aptly named. Um, and there's going to be a long string of hotels and some chain restaurants. So you'll find things like what is it, Cracker Barrel and, you know, things like this. But there's also some really affordable hotels right over on the other side of downtown if you just go through that tunnel um, that you normally wouldn't find. And there's also a retirement home there too. So this is the main corridor leading out from downtown, out from downtown Asheville into East Asheville. And really, it's Highway 70 that's gonna go all the way to Black Mountain but we call it Tunnel Road. So let's check out on Google Satellite and see exactly what we have on Tunnel Road. So there's gonna be like an Office Depot, there's gonna be some other things headed out that way, and then we get to Haw Creek. And you may have seen a video that I did on Haw Creek. Haw Creek is one of my favorite subdivisions for many different reasons. Well, I'm a mother. Um, and I just think it's a wonderful place for uh, to be immersed with nature. There's a lot of different housing opportunities in Haw Creek. And if you look, it's quite a big neighborhood. I wouldn't even call this a subdivision because there's so many tiny little uh, subdivisions in this neighborhood. Haw Creek is pretty dang massive. And if you look here, you'll see there's a charter school called Evergreen Charter School. There's also a highly rated um, other elementary school called Haw Creek Elementary. And then nearby, there's another elementary school called Bell, which is small and has really small class sizes. And parents really, really like that. So this is right past like the Asheville Mall coming out from downtown. We'll get to that in a minute. But Haw Creek is known for nature. It's known for housing a lot of different families in the area. It's known for sharing a boundary with the Blue Ridge Parkway. I mean, if you're looking right here, and look, there's a trailhead right here. So if you were to buy a home, let's zoom in a little bit more. If you were to buy a home on this side in Haw Creek, 
Most likely, you could walk right outside your back door and meet up with the Blue Ridge Parkway and meet up with tons of different trails and just hike for days and days. And even if the parkway is closed, you could also be able to access it. And that is the most fun time of the year. In the winter, when the parkway is closed and there's no traffic on there, if you get up there with a bike, well, be careful. Not to be only done by stuntmen, not professionals, whatever. So there's a couple entrances into Hog Creek and one of them is right down here uh, right off Tunnel Road you can come in and there's a great little French restaurant where you can sit outside and they have music playing and whatever the French game is that people in France like to play I can't remember the name of it but some people are really into that and they play it in the courtyard outside it's a really romantic European place to be uh, apartments nearby there but mostly you go to the right hand side of Hall Creek to get to all the different homes um, the other way that you can get in is through uh, Beverly Road, which is right up here. And here you'll find the Creekside Tap House. And there's also um, a little East Asheville Academy, which is a daycare that's located right there. And then the Whale Outpost, which is a bar. And there's also a coffee shop, which is a Penny Cup coffee shop right there. Um, so within Hall Creek, like I said, you're gonna find many different subdivisions. Anything from homes from $500 to $600,000 that have been renovated or not. I mean, this whole subdivision really started in the 70s anyway. So some homes have been redone, some homes have not been redone. So once you get back here into Sonley Estates, this is all mountain views. These people do not have yards, but they have big, beautiful homes. And they are overlooking the Hall Creek Valley or Asheville. Absolutely breathtakingly stunning views. Kind of pricey, kind of pricey, I would say. Million plus in that area, uh, but gorgeous, gorgeous homes. And then they have, the again, they have the Blue Ridge Parkway right on the other side of them. So let's check out other places um, that are not Paw Creek because there is a secret spot right before here that the locals do not want me to tell you about. And it is called Chun's Cove Road. Now what's awesome about Chun's Cove Road is if you look, you, this is like downtown. This is downtown Asheville. You just cross through that tunnel and it's a whole new world and a whole new price point. So Chun's Cove Road has different homes, uh, varying, you know, varying levels of pricing. Let's do a little bit of satellite map so you can see the nature that surrounds this area. It's peaceful, usually has a pretty good vibe out in Chun's Cove Road. Now, you know, this has been discovered in some ways. It used to be just a locals only place and there's been some development up there, but around this area, you can find some beautiful homes that um, are surrounded with nature that are still pretty affordable. Okay, so as we work our way out of Haw Creek, there's lots of other things that are really interesting nearby. Like right across the street, there's Beverly Hills, not 90210, and we made a video about that, so check that out as well. Uh, but Beverly Hills is really interesting because it is a mix of homes that are highly desirable. They are built in the 60s and the 70s as well. All this area is kind of of that era. And you'll see in Beverly Hills, there's these little homes, usually, I don't know, anywhere from 1,100 to 2,000 square feet. They're not massive homes. And then there's a golf course nearby. Now, the golf course is interesting because you don't have to be a part of it, but if you want to be a part of it, you can, because it's right there. And a lot of people like to walk from their house down to the golf course. So if you kind of see what this area looks like, this is all Beverly Hills right across the street from, from Hall Creek. Um, and you can see the different, uh, what's it called, Fair, Fairway Drive and, and all these little streets here uh, make a really nice place to walk in the evenings after you've had dinner. It's just a very nice ambiance. Um, the, the home prices in Beverly Hills can go anywhere from 550 probably up to 800 or 850 So let's make our way down a little bit more. There's that Bell Elementary School that I was talking about earlier. Here is Pomodoro's. Um, Greek and Italian cafe. They have really good pasta and pizza. 
Um, Swannanoa River Road, which will take you down in just a little bit, is is uh, a way that we're going to loop back around. So we're going to continue out on Tunnel Road for the moment. Here we have the social, which is cool, like a cool bar and grill. And then there's the Asheville VA, which is the Veteran Affairs Center. There's a lot of people that come to the area to work at the VA. We, it is world renowned. I think it's one of the best in the South or the area or the region, something like that. But we have a really great VA. And what's interesting about this area too, is that if you see this road, and I can zoom in a little bit on it, um, this highway is called Riceville Road, and you can see it goes, it kind of crosses with the Blue Ridge Parkway. That is where the city limits of Asheville end. So a lot of people who contact me and ask for help when purchasing a home are really concerned about living in the city limits of Asheville because of taxes. Well, first of all, our taxes in the city of Asheville are not as high as other places like Florida and California, so it's it's not always so much a concern. But if you look here on the map, the city of Asheville kind of stops like around this area. And if you look where downtown Asheville is right over here, it's not that far. So it's really easy to buy outside the city of Asheville if that's important for you. So what you're avoiding in those taxes are you're avoiding the city taxes, but you're still going to pay Buncombe County taxes. So near this area is where it ends. So if you're buying on this side, you're in the city limits. If you're buying in this side, on the other side of the Blue Ridge Parkway, you will not be paying those Asheville city taxes. So heading from the VA, you will find the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is an easy shortcut and a really great, beautiful scenic way to get around Asheville in general. Um, and then we're outside the city limits. You know, we have Animal Haven. These are all different neighborhoods throughout there. We're not gonna go out that far because we are just covering the Eastern part of Asheville. So here's another little subdivision that's really cute called Parkway Forest. Um, smaller homes again, kind of similar to what you would find in Beverly Hills. Uh, kind of private, like really cute, affordable homes. I would say anywhere from 450 to 650. Uh, people really like living there uh, as well from the feedback that I have heard. And again, you're so close to everything. Here's your Ingalls Market. So this is gonna be the big market for East Asheville, the hub, uh, the hub anywhere really in Asheville. It is pronounced Ingalls and it does have a wide variety of food. It's medium quality they do have some organic options you can get what you need there for sure and it is definitely our go-to market like if we're not going on a big shopping run we're hitting Ingalls and we're feeling fine about that so as we're coming back around um, from the VA we're gonna make a big old loop down below on Swannanoa River Road so you'll see right here, Beverly Hills is on our left. We've got Ingalls over here on the right. We're still gonna stay in the city limits because that's what we're doing today. We have the Asheville Recreation Park right here, which is a lot of soccer complexes and there's a huge playground right there. The City of Asheville Recreation um, Administrative Division ah, is located right there. And guess what you have? You have the Western North Carolina Nature Center where you can bring your small children of all ages. And they can see things like owls and bears and coyotes and like vultures and just lots of animals. They have summer camps. It's a really easy place to entertain small people. And if you, got an, if you get an annual pass and you go often, it is super fun and really, really affordable. So here are all the soccer complexes that I was talking about earlier. So there's soccer camps there, there's soccer leagues there, and then right in front of the Nature Center, um, there is a big pool, and I'm not sure if it's still operational or not, but there is also a really great playground. So if you're into playgrounds, that's a place that you're gonna wanna visit. So we often take Swannanoa River Road right there as a cut through. Follows uh, the Swannanoa River. Uh, which is gorgeous. Um, and there are some like retro stores there. There are some vintage furniture stores. There is Brother Wolf where you can adopt an animal. 
a cat or a dog. There is the regeneration station. There's so many things along Swannanoa River Road, but it kind of takes you back towards town, back towards the center part of town, which is like the Biltmore area. But first, let's hit this whole area right here. So off the Swannanoa River Road, and like I've mentioned before, is all like the big box stores. We kind of keep them all lumped together because we are Asheville and we are artsy. And so we are going to push all of our Walmarts and our Targets and all of our big box stores into one distinct area. And it's gonna look like this. So here is where Walmart is and Kohl's and Hobby Town and all those things. So it's gonna be pushed there. And here's an Aldi too. So if you like Aldi, you're gonna be thrilled. So if you keep following this along, then you'll have a choice whether to go right or to go left. And if you go left, then you will hit a place that I often find myself in called Target. And Target is located right here. There's a big movie theater. Uh, that's also another place to, that you can hit the regeneration station. There's a Dick Sporting Goods. Um, there's a Chuck E. Cheese. If you have Tinies again, they love the Chuck E. Cheese and you'll go to a lot of birthday parties in that area. There's the, there is the, the movie theater as well just to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, there's lots of different stores, of course, at the Asheville Mall. There's actually a really good food court there. There's a Jamaican restaurant that's awesome at the mall. And guess what is right across the street? Your favorite place, Whole Foods. So Whole Foods is easily accessible in East Asheville. If you live there, even from downtown, it's easily accessible. Um, Whole Foods is right there. And guess what's ne next to Whole Foods? TJ Maxx. So T <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I'm, I'm giving away all my, all my secrets. It's not my secrets, but I go to TJ Maxx and I go to Whole Foods. And sometimes I let my kids run around at the mall, supervised. And these are the things that um, East Asheville is awesome at having. So there it all is, right there. Okay, so if we hadn't taken the Swannanoa River Road part and we had gone down on Fairview Road, which you can see right here, there's a whole other part of East Asheville that um, is, is a little bit separate than the rest of it, and it's called Oakley. Now, Oakley has more affordable housing. I mean, again, it's kind of small, it's a developing area, but it's not far away from downtown. It's really not far away from, um, if you're looking at trying to get to Fairview or AC Reynolds High School, um, that is, or just central Asheville in general, Oakley is a nice place to consider. There's a lot going on. We go there a lot because there is a Home Depot in that area, but if you look at kind of like what it looks like, there's a lot of homes that are pretty close. And then again, you have like a back door route to places like the mall and Target and, and things like that. So Oakley is something to consider. There's also a library there and, an, and a park. The Murphy Oakley Park is there and there's an Oakley Community Garden. So it's something to check out as well. Um, now, as we're coming back from Oakley, coming back in on Fairview Road, there are, um, there are some homes there. There are some businesses in that area, but it's gonna take, Fairview Road is gonna take you right back into the central part of Asheville, which is where you're gonna find the Biltmore Village and ultimately the Biltmore Estate. So it's a big old loop. So from downtown out on Tunnel Road, all the way uh, either through Sweeten Creek or through Fairview Road and get right back to the center of Asheville and then there's downtown Asheville. So then that is the big loop of East Asheville. So East Asheville is a great place for locals and things like that, but you might want to check out West Asheville. It might be more of your cup of tea. If you want to learn more about all the regions, check out this video as well. This is going to be a playlist that's going to show you it all.